Hey everybody, in this quick start guide, I'm going to teach you how to solder. So let's go over the tools you'll need to solder. First is a soldering iron, mine is already plugged in and hot, some solder wire, and then something to clean your soldering iron with. I have some brass sponge here, but you can also use a wet sponge. And then lastly, we'll need something to solder and solder to. So I have a prototype PCB from our third kit, the compass kit, and some generic components. So your first step is to tin your soldering iron. You want the very tip to be nice and shiny. So how we do that is by adding some solder wire to the tip of our soldering iron and then putting it in our sponge and cleaning it off, giving us a nice shiny soldering iron. So now that our soldering iron is ready to go, let's populate our board with a couple of pieces that we can solder. So for this video, I just took a bunch of general components that you'll probably solder in future kits. So a resistor, and another resistor, and I've pushed them through the board, and on the other side, bent their leads so they will stay in place, and now they're ready to solder. So we'll be making two solder joints for this component. The holes that the leads from the component go through are called pads. And our first step is taking our soldering iron, putting it on the pads, holding it there for a couple of seconds so everything's heated up to the same temperature, and then pushing solder wire into the area. You still want to hold it down, then you can remove your soldering iron and that's a solder joint. And we're gonna be doing the same thing on the other pad. You hold it to the pad and the lead from the component, let it heat up, and then we can push some solder wire into the joint, and then remove our soldering iron. So let's take a look at these solder joints. I made two extra ones off camera, but these are the ones we did first. So we'll take a look at those first. This one right here is pretty good. You can see the solder stays around the pad. There's nothing kind of climbing up the lead. Uh, and it looks like a little mountain or a little Hershey Kiss. This one also looks generally the same. Not too much solder on this one. And it looks like a little Hershey Kiss. So now let's go on to these two, which aren't as great. They both use too much solder, and you can see because the solder kind of balls up, it doesn't look like a mountain, it doesn't come to a nice peak. And then on this one specifically, it kind of rounds back into itself towards the pad at the bottom, meaning that this could be a cold solder joint, which happens when you don't heat up the area first. So let's take a look at the same solder joints, but from a different angle. We'll start with this first one that we made. It looks pretty good. Uh, if anything, we could use a little bit more material the second joint looks really good. It has that mountain or Hershey Kiss shape. Uh, this third one that I made off camera, maybe a little bit too much material. It kind of looks like a ball. But this last one is the one I really want you to pay attention to. There's definitely way too much material, and you can tell that this is a cold solder joint by the way that it kind of runs off the pad and doesn't sit flush with the rest of the board. So this happened because I didn't heat up the whole area beforehand, and when I applied the solder wire, it didn't flow well onto the pad. So now I'm gonna show you how you could fix this. One way is by using solder wick, which is a braided copper wire. And to do that, we're going to heat up the joint that we'd like to fix. And now that it's all molten, we're gonna place the solder wick there. And now we're gonna heat up the joint with the solder wick and kind of just work it back and forth. And what you're hoping is gonna happen is that some of the extra solder is going to bind to the solder wick and not the pad. And as you can see, we did take some material away. So in order to use the solder sucker, your first step is to depress the plunger, just like that. Heat up the area that you'd like to remove solder from. Put the tip of the solder sucker into that same area and press the button. You might have to do that a couple of times, but what's happening is it's creating a vacuum that pulls away extra material. All right, let's recap what we learned today. First thing, safety first. Always wear your safety glasses while you're soldering. And when you finish your project, or if you wanna take a break or leave the room, unplug your soldering iron, leave it to the side for it to cool. It's still gonna be pretty hot since we do use it to melt metal. 
Remember to tin your soldering iron and clean it frequently so that way we can keep it in good working condition. Remember to heat the area you want to make a solder joint to before you put any solder wire to it at all so that way it's a good solder joint and not a cold solder joint. Thanks for watching this quick start guide on how to solder. Check out the rest of the Thimble channel for more how-to videos and check out learning.thimble.io for full tutorials on all of our kits.